Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because I had to pull another double last night. But I have a little bit more energy, primarily because <laughs> that day I had pulled not only a, uh, well, I'm going to mute my TV real quick because I plan on playing the thing later. Um, I had not only done a, uh, massive, massively high caffeine drink at the beginning of my day. I also took a moderately high caffeine one in the later half of the day and a couple ibuprofen, so I don't feel as broken <laughs> today. <laughs> so I'm able to move around a little bit, just a little, because it still kind of hurts uh, in old injuries, but no, just don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Um, I have a hood on because my hair is a mess, just as you can see. So, I will look like a Sith for a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Whoops, I knocked my microphone a little bit. My day last night was not great. Um, but it was, uh, it was enlightening, to say the least. Um, in some of the wrong reasons. Um, <laughs> Uh, first off is that I desperately, desperately need to get more people on my crew, um, and try to keep that number up and, uh, have the lower peons <laughs> fight it out for the hours cause fuck, um, I'm sick of having people, uh, call out and then we're fucked. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of sick of it. Um. This is tea, by the way. Too early in the morning for Stray to be drinking. What you talking about? Get out of here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sick of it. Uh, it has blown multiple plans. It has blown multiple things. And uh, it also doesn't help when new hires are complete fucking shits. Let me explain. Uh, remember that hire I talked about in the last vlog? Uh, my last double where I got my head ripped off by the hiring manager, which, by the way, I completely understand. I was putting myself too much into her job. That was what the problem was in her eyes. We talked it out. We're fine. Um, I should let her do her job and keep my ass out of it. But, um, at the same time, this proved that this guy was not up for the task either. Um, apparently the brother may not be, uh, the worst option out of the two, maybe. Uh, I heard differently from, uh, the other two, uh, people that I trusted their opinions on. But, uh, this guy, this guy comes in for the training has a weird little stomach ache, was whatever. Um, so I said, okay, well, here's some Tums. I have them in my office locker. I mean, if you feel you need them, it should calm your stomach a little bit. He ignores it. Um, he then proceeds to go to run to the bathroom and then says he threw up uh i go okay um one time is usually not enough to be completely worried about and that was probably due to the fact that his stomach was acting up generally if my stomach acts up i don't vomit very often but uh usually if i take a tums it will deal with itself or at least lessen it to get through your day and then you can deal with it at home. So, because he didn't take the offer of Tums while it was in my locker, I take it out of my locker, hand it straight to him. Tell him, okay, well, take this. It should help you. And he again refuses. Why he doesn't want to take help from me? I don't know. I mean, I'm giving everything possible um, to try and help him out. This is all, might I add, in the middle of training. 
middle of the computer training required for fuel station employees to be legally allowed to touch those pumps. And he finishes the basic C-class training, and he goes on to the operator training, uh, which is more broad in its scope. And he just doesn't bother concentrating. Um, I gave him everything that I had available. I mean, I even offered ibuprofen afterwards, trying, you know, if he feels like he's in pain, that might lessen it a little bit as well. And, uh, you know, help him get through it. He decides not to take any of it. He complains that he's not able to concentrate. I was like, okay, go take a break. Just decompress. You know, take your time to get your head straight and then uh, get back to it. So he goes out to his truck. About halfway into his break, he turns on the truck and then leaves. Completely. The fuck? What the fuck is wrong with these kids, man? It's like, I was... N- okay, I was a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a shit when I first started. Don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> I have to say that because the former assistant manager watches my channel. He will absolutely blow my ass out in the comments. <laughs> so, I have to I have to reiterate. I was a bit of a shit in the first couple of years working there. But, eventually, I got my head out of my ass. These, I don't understand. I don't understand some of these kids, man. Like, he, he didn't even finish the training. He was legit smack dab in the middle of what is required to be able to operate the pumps. We were going to get stuff done later because we were so, you know, short-staffed that I wanted to get him out there at the pumps immediately. And then we will worry about the rest of the company required ones later. And don't even get that far because he leaves in the middle of the required stuff and never came back at all i stayed there until 6 p.m like i did the last time because i needed to cover at least part of that night crew shift i have old injuries i can't risk throwing them out even further the fact that i didn't today is surprising the fact that i'm able to move today is surprising uh i honestly think it's due to the fact that i downed a starbucks triple shot and then five ibuprofen <laughs> right with it. And uh, it helped me get through the rest of the night. Uh, especially when I had a uh, huge amount of cars in an hour. That uh, while one of the guys was on the, the other guy. I should say one of, the, one of the other guys. Just the one guy was on lunch. I covered the entire time. That was fun. <laughs> And by fun, I mean terrible, but yeah, it it gave me enough energy to get through that. But then after that, I was like, let me die. But uh, yeah, it worked out. It worked out, I guess, kind of a little bit today will probably be a little bit of a shit show, but here's hoping it isn't. Um, in the meantime, um, it has shown me that we need to hire more people and hire them at a higher rate and make them fight for the job because then they'll actually give a fuck and actually try to stay because, uh, otherwise, They won't get hours. It is what it is. Especially in the early parts of their employment, they're not guaranteed hours. They have to prove that they're worth the hours. And uh, so far, hours we've been getting, shown they ain't worth it. So, fuck them, honestly. Um, uh, it's, I don't want to sound old, even though I will be old uh, as of the 30th. But, uh... Kids these days, fucking hell, man. 
terrible, terrible work ethic. Uh, that's, that's not to say that there aren't some shining uh, examples of the opposite of that, but there are always exceptions to the rule. That uh, so far, at least with general, you know, retail, menial jobs, some people just can't do it. And uh, that's on them, honestly. But, fuck. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this bad. God damn. Um, anywho. Um, with everything going on at work, uh, it's made it so I am kind of apprehensive about doing a uh, birthday live stream. Uh, there's also a number of other reasons as well. Um, mainly a lot of, you know, up and coming cool people coming out or, you know, another cool person also has a birthday stream on that day as well, uh, who I follow. And I just kind of want to enjoy my birthday this time. I don't want to make it feel like I'm working. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I do like the idea I had, um, where I was going to play Tropico and every time I fail, I drink <laughs> the entire rest of the bottle or rather rest of the mug. Uh, but, um, I think I'll save that for another time because, uh, my birthday, I will kind of want to keep it more special than I have been treating it lately. Um, last year, um, I kind of forced a stream after my bathroom got flooded by the apartment two floors above. Uh, it didn't feel good. Probably didn't sound good either. Because there was a lot of things when it came to the computer and the mic that I was still trying to figure out. Um, I think I figured them out now. But, uh, at the time, I was just not sure what I was doing, and um, kind of affected a lot of things, which was a majority of why I kind of fell out of it for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But I guess uh, the long and short of this very rambly video is that... Uh, I pulled another double, managed to survive it, have a little bit more range of movement because I overdosed on caffeine, <laughs> over-recommended dosed on the caffeine, and uh, had some heavy amounts of ibuprofen in my system, but I'm feeling loosey-goosey-ish as much as I can be when just still slightly sore, and um, yeah, just kind of not feeling that birthday live stream anymore um if that changes i'll let you know uh it, i have until saturday anyway so uh if that changes i will let you know but uh for right now it's up in the air we'll see we'll see for now but uh yeah i think i'm gonna go um play a game to just completely shut off my brain and relax for a, uh, for a couple hours. That's what I feel like. And then I'll get to upping more on that bank. And uh, yeah, getting some episodes recorded and epi uh, edited. I was about to say edited. That was going to be stupid. <laughs> uh, man, have you guys figured out yet that I use these vlogs to save my bank? <laughs> yeah. Have you figured it out yet? Yeah. Well, I just kind of pulled the cat out of the bag there, but uh, there you go. <laughs> pulled back the curtain, as it were. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm so, yeah, there's that. Um, gonna relax a little bit, um, decompress from all the bullshit, and then I record later and up that bank, and you will see me in a less tired state. Uh, prior to these shenanigans and then hopefully you'll see me in a slightly more tired state but not as stressed state hopefully 
We'll find out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. I will see you all in the next video. There you go. I had enough energy for that. <laughs> this has been the one the only Stray Cat vlogging, doing doubles at work because everyone we hire lately who's younger is a fucking piece of shit. And uh, hoping to maybe get decompressed enough to consider a uh, birthday stream uh, more viable. But for right now, I'm kind of meh on the whole thing for you.